Before we're done with this app, let's make a handful of smaller changes that help polish up what we have. First, what happens if the user looks at their order and decides against one of the items? Right now we can add items, but we can't delete them. But this isn't too hard to remedy. Just like UIKit, SwiftUI works with tables using index set, a collection of locations in its data. So we can add a method to order view that accepts an index set and use it to delete those items from our order array. So back in Xcode, I'll go to the project navigator, choose order view, then add a new method. So that's after body, a new method down here, I'll say func delete items at offsets and index set. And I'll pass that straight to our Swift array. Order dot items dot remove at offsets those offsets like that. To connect that to Swift UI, we need to add an on delete modifier to the for each that shows the menu items in the order. That's the one up here. On delete accept a closure that will be run when deletion happens. And that closure must accept an index set and delete those items. Basically exactly what our delete items at method already does. So below this for each, I'll say there's an on delete. Please perform our delete items method like that. Boom. If the user wants to remove several items at a time, that's also easy to do in Swift UI. We just added a method to handle deletion. So we can now add an edit button to the navigation bar and let Swift UI handle the rest. No, really. So I'll scroll down here. You can see we have our navbar title and our list style. I'll add another modifier below that. I'll say dot navigation bar items. I'll add a trailing item, which happens to be an edit button like that. Swift UI already knows an edit button should toggle the table between editing and not editing mode while also changing title between edit and done. So I press command R now, we should get some great behavior out of the box. So I'll add a fresh baked croissant, go to our order screen. There's our edit button. When it's pressed, it becomes done. It slides to edit mode like this, really nice. Or I can also swipe to delete like that. Let's move on to a second upgrade. Why do we let users press this place order button if they haven't got anything in their order? This doesn't make any sense, and so we shouldn't really allow it. So let's not allow it. Back in our order view again, here, you can see we have a section that goes straight to another checkout view when place order is tapped. What we want is to disable that whole section when there are no items in our order. Well, thanks to the power of Swift UI, we can do exactly that with a disabled modifier like this. I'll say our section is dot disabled when order dot items dot is empty like that. If you're on the app now, we should find we can add an item to the order freely enough, delete the item and place order will go away or be disabled. So here's our croissant, I will press order this. And here you can see place order is nice and black. When I delete that one thing, boom, it's gray and can no longer be tapped. Finally, we have a total for our order in checkout view, but it's not particularly prominent. So in our checkout view here, we have our total price text. So right below that, I'll say uh, this has the font dot large title. Give me a nice large font on the screen. I press command R now, we should see that whole thing looking much, much nicer. I'll choose like a pancakes, press order this, go to the order tab, press place order and boom, there's our text nice and big on the screen, much better.